Hey guys, it's Nicolas Sidonma again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you if you could subscribe to the channel by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really gonna help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm gonna continue the videos on Magic Leap. I'm really excited because I'm gonna be updating the operating system and also the SDK in my computer. So I'm gonna show you the process by going in and changing some of the path variables that we need to change. Also going into the package manager and downloading the new version. So let's jump into my computer and start working on it. All right guys, so I'm ready to show you the update process for Magic Leap new version, which is 0.21. So let me go ahead and open up the package, Magic Leap package manager. And then we can determine what changes we'll need to make. I haven't updated my device in a while, so this is normally what you'll get, updates available. It'll tell you if you want to update it and have it updated. I'm gonna say no because I wanna show you what needs to be updated. And it looks like the version that is available right now, it's like I was saying 0.21.0. I haven't installed that and then we can look at other examples that, I, that I'm currently using. So if I look at the Unity packages, let me make sure if there's an update as well. Looks like there's also an update for that. And of course, if you're using some of the other components, like the components in Unreal, you're more than welcome to install that. So I'm going to go ahead and install and update the Looming SDK to 0.21.0. And I'm just gonna say download, and it looks like it's pending install. So I'm not gonna install it just yet, and then also do the same thing on the package manager. I'm gonna say, you know, download that. So this gives you a list of things that we will be updating. Let me look at, so this is all Unreal. The Unity Editor, because Unity is now part of the core Unity Editor, Magic Leap actually comes with the with the latest, latest version of Unity, so we don't need to do this. It's actually it's gonna prompt us to go to unity3d.com and then get the latest version. So what, what Magic Leap did is they're now part of the Unity core. So we don't need to do anything there in Unity Packages. I already installed that and let's see, code extension. So I think we're good to go. I don't think I need to install anything else. I'm just gonna hit apply. And this is probably gonna take a little bit to download and install. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave this running and then I'll fast forward until it's completed. And if it goes through a, a, you know any sort of installation process, I'll walk you through that process as well. All right, guys, so it looks like this completed. It actually shows now version 0.21 being installed. And also if we go to the Unity packages, we also have the new Unity package installed. So what I wanna do is I want to make sure that everything is set up correctly. So I'm gonna go into my terminal. And I know that I had to, I had to point my SDK to be in my path. So let me make sure that I can MLDB is one of the commands that we that we use for communicating with the magic leap. So let me make sure that everything here looks fine. I want to I want to know the version. So I'm wondering if they have dash v oh version. And okay, so they don't have we can do MLDB. Oh there we go. So that shows us. So we're gonna have to change this and point it to the new version of the SDK. So let me make sure that we go to the my bash. And I believe I have, let me go to that directory, which is where I am right now. And I need to modify my bash profile. So if you're using Windows, you probably have an environment variable created I think I did mine on the bash profile, so I'm gonna, let me try this. And beam, bash profile, and there we go. So I have a couple of paths in here. Yep, and I have the one for MLDB. Oops, let me bring that up. Make sure that I pull, and let me go back to that. There we go, let me bring that window. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna make sure that this path is correct. So I'm going to go ahead and just go to that CD. 
him in. I believe he's 21. There we go. All right, so what we need to do is I'm just going to go ahead and change the path here to be 21. I'm also going to do the same thing on the tools to be 21. And let me just go ahead and hit insert. All right, so I think we're good to go here. So I'm just going to close out of this. And there we go. And as soon as I get out of this, out of the terminal and go back in, I should be pointing to the to the right version. So I'm just going to close out of the terminal. And let me just go ahead and, oh, there we go. It closed. OK, so let me go back to it. And I'm going to do which ML DB. Make sure that it is pointing to 21 and make sure that I can run it so that I know. OK, so we're good to go there. Everything here should be working. So what I want to do is also go to my my device and show you the update process. And then we can do probably another video so that I don't make this one too long where we upgrade one of the projects that I already have and try to build it on this new version of the Magic Leap SDK. So let me go into my device and get into the update process. All right, so it says that I, ha I am in a new space. I'm just gonna skip this for now, just to get, you know, just to get everything working. And I'm gonna go into my settings, device, and it looks like it's downloading the, the new version of the software. I haven't had this connected for a while, so my guess is gonna be because ML magically push a new a new version. So let me see. Yeah, it's currently downloading. So I'm just gonna continue on. And when this is completed, I'll just continue continue showing you the process. So it looks like it's finished downloading and now it's ready to install. So basically all you have to do is go back into settings, go to about, and then just hit install. And this is gonna tell us, you know, go through the terms and conditions. And we'll just go ahead and hit accept because I trust Magic Leap. And then this is the new version. We're just going to say install and restart. It says that I have low battery, so I'll just make sure that I have it connected. And then I'll basically continue to this process. So but that's basically everything we need to do. I'll just jump back in. And then on the next video, we'll go through the process of pushing one of the apps that I already created to the new version of the SDK. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers. Either you're starting now or if you're an advanced game developer, they have resources for you. And also find me on Patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes. I'm also posting early access to source code and a lot more information about what I'm doing for prototyping. So find me on Patreon.com, guys. Thank you very much.